What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Gold Rush Autograph Mini Helmets Football Edition Series 3. Six box half case break, random teams number, or random letters number one. So this is a 14 spot break. We randomize all 14 customer names and the 14 letters below. We will go by the uh, first letter of the first name. So example, Drew Brees will go to the D, uh, letter D spot, and Kyler Murray goes to K. <sighs> Again. A down to y, uh, y, uh, WY. And again, first letter, first name. Here are the 14 customers in here. Here are the letters. Good luck. Roll it. And we got ourselves a two and a one three times. One, two, three. Allen down to Jarrell. Three times here. One, two, three. M down to R. Booker's never going to miss. All right, there you go. So Allen with M, Logan with L, Steven Olsen with S, Allen with P, Tice with letter B, Corey with K, Nicholas with N O, um, Adam K with T, Joe with D, Adam with E F, Kevin Hamilton with Y W or W Y, sorry, uh, Brian Foley with A, Colton with C, and Jarrell with R. So, and again, if for some reason also, guys, there's a, a helmet that comes out and the letter is not one of these ones, then everybody will have a shot at that. I think we went by first letter of first name just because there's more uh, balance probably between the letters rather than just all one normal uh, dominant letter when it comes to last names. So, if anybody wants to trade, let me know. I'm going to actually... It's a six box half case here guys, so we'll decide which six we'll use here. All right, what we'll do, guys, is that all this top six, just put it to a little pile right here. That'll be the left side. This will be the right side. And then we'll just roll the die, and it looks like no one's gonna trade, right, so. All right, so let's just roll a die. One, two, three for the left side over here. Four, five, six for the right side. Let's see if I get a good roll this time. Nice. Three. One, two, three, left side. Here, let's 
go with the first one. Good luck, everybody. I have no idea who this is. I don't think it gives us a little clue. Oh, no. This is not a good one. Sorry, I would not do this guy for who am I. This guy is... And I'm not saying it's not a good one because it's like... In that way, it's just that this guy's totally messed up his career. Darius Geis. I know he might have been great in LSU and all that, but not not good in, in life. That is for sure. So there you go. Um, Joe, with letter D, first letter, first name. There you go. Sorry. I don't know if they packed Darius guys here before all that stuff happened, but they might have. Some more uh, kind of domestic violence with his. Uh, I, I don't think it was. I don't think it was his wife. I think girlfriend, right? But then a lot of other things started popping up on this guy. Um, while he was at LSU too, um, accused of like the R word. And all that stuff, but yeah, <laughs> don't want to get too into that. But uh, there you go. Next one. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get into it in this video, but I honestly feel like when they release this, they probably. I mean, this just happened right before the season started. Right, like a month or so in. I just I can't see who these people are, so it's gonna be kind of hard. Do you guys want to do do who am I? She said I I love the I love the TriStar ones though, cause easier to uh, when they have the index card. All right, we got a former fullback in the NFL. Played for um, one team his whole career. Played about 10 years. He was actually the general manager of the San Antonio, uh, San Antonio Com uh, Commanders of the Alliance of America football team in 2019. And currently serves as the director of player personnel for the Dallas Renegades. Went to Syracuse, retro as a freshman, started playing special teams, and would earn the starting fullback position at, by sophomore year. Uh, getting selected by the team he played his 10 years with in the second round, 1989 draft. Uh, won three Super Bowls, two Pro Bowls, all Big East, all American. And hey, fullbacks don't really get so much love nowadays, right? Kind of just not even a real position anymore. But yeah, that's Cowboys edition right there, of course. Uh, not college, of course, I was uh, trying to say. Of uh, Daryl Johnston. And, um, what was the nickname? The Moose, right? I love his actually uh, play by play commentating, too, as well. Um, that's going to go to D and Joe again. There you go.
Oh, I think he's meaning uh, nice hit for Joga. Joe. <laughs> All right, next one, guys. Right, I'm just going to raise it a little bit, guys. I just want to see who this is before I even announce. All right. This guy's actually an active receiver and actually currently battling some injuries. And uh, born 1995, active receiver for the team he got drafted by in the second round in the 2018 draft, pick number 40. Uh, was a Pro Bowler last year. Had uh, a pretty good season. Had over 1,100 yards, averaging 15.4 yards a catch, uh, 72 receptions, played all 16 games for six touchdowns. His longest was a 70-yard receiving catch and uh, like I said currently injured right now so a lot of other young rookies uh, receivers that this team also drafted to help out with the now injured Drew Locke that is that is the that is the the hint he plays for the Denver Broncos out of SMU No, not Adams, not Williams, not Mike, but yes, Cortland. That's Cortland Sutton. There you go. Very nice. And that's going to go to letter C for Colton. There you go. more that's what we want right Steve All right, let me lift it up again so you guys don't see the helmets or try not to see the helmet I guess <laughs> why, why are you peeking for it, Brad? That was my fault. <laughs> that was my fault. All right. All right. Current active receiver for this team that Brad mentioned. Also battling injuries to start off this season, but was a first round pick in 2015 out of Louisville. Pick 14 last year had a pretty good season. Um, had himself over 1,200 yards, averaged 16.7 yards a catch, 72 receptions. And yes, it is Devontae Parker. So that's going to letter D again. <laughs> that's all good, Brad. That's actually my fault. It's just that. I wish I don't have to pull out the, the mini helmet to uh, to see who the name is. Yeah, D is racking up right now. I mean, I know there's good teams and good breaks, but I guess sometimes in letters there could be some good good uh, good letters. No, I guess you're right, Arthur. I guess you're right. You're right. Man. So you make the big bucks, Arthur.
I'm a retired defensive end that played in the uh, NFL in the late 90s and early 2000s. I played for three teams, or technically two teams for my whole career. Started off with this team, signed as a free agent with uh, my Eagles in 04. Three-time Pro Bowler, first team All-Pro. NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year in 1999. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year, AFC Defensive Player of the Year in 1999. An SEC Champion and a National Champion as well. Um, had a career total of 74 sacks. And I'm going to give it up right now. His nickname is The Freak. The Freak. Went back to uh, Tennessee, though, for the last two seasons of his career. And again, first round draft pick, pick 16. And yes, Jim. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a tight end edition, but did have a couple good years with the Eagles. And there you go. Javon the Freak Curse. So there you go. J. Letter J. That is going to... Everybody's going to have a shot at that, it looks like. I don't see no J. Right? Am I looking at this correctly? Yes. It looks like there is no J. Okay. So everybody's going to have a shot at this, then. We have a 1 in 14 chance. We'll put that back over here. Now let's do the last one here. Nice. Alright, I am a current active um, running back in the NFL. Um, went to the Ohio State. Was a first team All-American. A first team Big Ten. Uh, first team All-Big Ten. Won the Earl Campbell Award. A Earl Campbell Tyler Rose Award. Second team All-Big Ten in previous years and won the 2017 Big Ten Championship Game MVP. Um, drafted in the second round. Second round draft pick. Pick 55 in 2020. Uh-huh, I got you guys. You guys thought it was Zeke. <laughs> Who's the other big running back to come out of there? Out of the Ohio State. Jonathan Taylor would be Wisconsin. Jarrell got it. There you go. And it's J.K. Dobbins. And look at that. This one's actually pretty cool. It has those little like uh, stickers they get. Um, for like touchdowns or for whatever they give them for. Kind of looks like a little, not what I want to say over the air, but I think you guys can see it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there's an, uh, another one. J.K. Dobbins. I mean, usually it's never two initials like that, but I mean, it is what it is, right? So we're going to give away two helmets then. Um, what we'll do is um, we will give away this helmet to number one and the helmet we just pulled second to number two just to make it fair. First one, second one. So there you go. Alrighty guys. So good luck. A lot of people are really high on him even though like he's like the third on the depth chart though for the for the uh for the Ravens, right? I think he's behind uh, Ingram and um, I forget the other name on the depth chart. But yeah, there you go. So let's grab the customer names then. And 
and everybody will have a shot at this. So number one gets the Javon Curse. Number two gets the J.K. Dobbins. Roll it. And it's a two and a five for seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Boom. Seven times. Steven Olsen and Alan Murdoch. So there you go. So Steven Olsen, you're going to get the uh, Javon the Freak Curse. And Alan, you're going to get the J.K. Dobbins. So there you go, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, we should have another second half going up. That'll be the next six mini helmets from the case. Hey, not sure what could be hiding in there. And by looking at the, the sell sheet, I mean, there's some pretty good names on here, guys. So... Got to expect at least one of those names to pop up in one of these cases. So there you go, guys. Appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.